What's up, people? So, I thought I'd introduce to you uh, a theory of being alone within a relationship. Uh, something I coined. It's something I came up with. Because I realized when I was in a relationship, I started not liking how much time my girlfriend at the time was spending with me. Like, I got annoyed. And what I realized was, as soon as we got into a relationship, we kind of gave in to the idea of the relationship. Which means... The relationship nearly prescribes what kind of behavior we need to showcase within, you know, this this construct. So it means now that we we in a relationship, I got to spend like most of my time with my my girlfriend. I got to talk to her all the time. I got to message her and I got to just give so much of myself to my girlfriend and kind of lose a bit of what I used to do before meeting her. And that over time does have a massive impact on you. You kind of feel smothered in the relationship because it's just like, shucks, I'm doing everything with my girlfriend. I'm doing everything with my boyfriend. When do I get me time? And that's the point I reached before her. I reached that point where I just felt like my word, like I'm just with this person all the time. I smelled, felt, I felt like completely smothered. So I said to her, look, I think we need to be alone within the relationship. And she's like, what does that mean? And I'm like, all that means is over a time period, like one day or over a weekend, I need you to trust me. I need you to allow me to be alone. I need you to allow me to do the things I would have done if I didn't, you know, meet you. Whether that is playing indoor soccer, whether that is going to the gym, whether that is just completely being alone and switching off my phone and just cutting out all forms of reality just for a second so I can reconnect with myself. I need you to trust that I will come back to you and I will feel a lot better. So obviously at first this sounded like the beginning stages of, you know, things going south. But when she realized that I made good on the promise, which was I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to feel a lot better. That's exactly what happened. And naturally when she saw that happen, she picked it up in terms of energy I told her she needs to do that as well. So whatever she would have done outside of the relationship, if she wasn't part of a relationship, whether that is go play netball, go play soccer, um, hang out with her friends, she was into arts and crafts, hang out with the family. I told her, take a weekend off and just go reconnect with yourself for a second. I'm still here. I'm still your, your guy. I'm your man. But I need you to not lose yourself to the identity of the relationship and the the, the set practice and behavior types that you know, people feel like they need to conform to when it comes to the relationship. And when she did that, again, it made sense to her. She felt the energy difference and the, the, the appreciation she had for both sides. So it, no, no part of her was ne neglected. The relationship was there, but also she felt like she was reconnecting with herself and what she wanted to do. And the obligation of doing everything together was never and, and, and you know, kind of slowly dissipated. So I want to encourage you, when you're in the relationship, don't allow the idea, the construct of the relationship to allow you to kind of lose yourself in the, and lose your identity within the relationship. You create the identity of your own personalized relationship. And it's important to always remember who you are and to reconnect with who you are in the relationship. And to have that trust that if a guy wants a day just to be on his own, trust that he'll come back. If your girl wants a day just to be on her own, trust that she will come back. Give her that leniency and take that time when she's gone to reconnect with what you want to do, with what what you want to connect with because the truth of the matter is you can't spend all your time talking and spending time with this individual love is not based on proximity love is not based on the the fact that they need to be around you 24 7 love is an eternal constant thing that should always be there no matter whether it's going great or whether it's going south or whether they're with you or whether they're not with you so it's important to remember to not lose yourself to the relationship but rather to um, strengthen your identities individually within the relationship, which would then curate a very specialized idea of what the relationship is, as opposed to just prescribing to what you think it must be. Because nine times out of 10, after three months, you're gonna get smothered. It doesn't matter how much sex you have, how much time you spend together, all that shit is not gonna count for jack shit because you're gonna feel super smothered. You're not gonna feel like you have space, time to breathe, time to think, you're walking on eggshells. 
you need space. You need time to break away from the person that you love dearly. I mean, think about the, the person that you love the most, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. There's times you break away from them to do what you want to do. The same applies to a relationship. So implement the idea of being alone within the relationship, even if it means, I mean, one of the most beautiful things I enjoyed was when she was with me in the room, but I did what I wanted to do and she did what she wanted to do. So whether that was me playing PlayStation for like three hours on end and she was watching Kardashians or Cake Boss, which she enjoyed, we were alone together, which is a powerful thing. It feels so good to know that the other person is there whilst you in your element. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so think about that because I want to prevent and I, I, I want to make sure that you guys don't get into that cycle of feeling smothered and then not knowing what to do. Try the simple technique of just allowing yourselves to be alone within the relationships. It will do wonders in your relationship and will only strengthen not only the trust you should have for each other, but also the appreciation that you have for each other. It, it really will. It worked for me and I'm hoping that it works for you. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to comment and let me know whether this works, whether this makes sense, what's your take on this approach. Again, this is not something I learned off 702 or carte blanche. I came up with this purely based on my experience being alone within the relationship. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, like, like and share with those people who need to hear this. And if you're watching this on IG, make sure that you um, share this to your stories Tag whoever needs to hear this in the comment section. So whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, um, friends that you know is in a relationship that need to hear this, tag them in the comment section and share this video as much as you can. All right. Thank you so much. Happiness to you guys.